Had some unfortunate news this morning. Brooklyn rapper Pop Smoke murdered in home invasion robbery. According to TMZ, I linked the article in the description. Just hit the drop down box. Uh, you can find it there well, along with all the social media if you need to get in touch with me. We back. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And TMZ says Pop Smoke and up and come. Pop Smoke, an up-and-coming rapper, was shot and killed Wednesday morning and appears to be a home invasion robbery. TMZ has learned the rapper was at his home in Hollywood Hills at around 4.30 a.m. when two men wearing hoodies and masks broke into, broke in, into his house. Uh, this is according to law enforcement sources. We are told two men fired multiple shots, striking critically wounding Pop Smoke. The men were are seen fleeing on foot. Pop Smoke was rushed to Amalines to Cedar sinai Medical Center in West Hollywood, where he was pronounced dead. The suspects have not been caught, and as far as we know, they have not been identified. It's unclear. Pop Smoke knew the shooters. One man was placed in handcuffs, but cops determined he was not involved and was released. Pop Smoke released an album back in July, and one of the songs, Welcome to the Party, blew up. It was considered by many the song of the summer. Nicki Minaj did a remix of the song a few months later. He also did a song with uh, song Gaddy with Travis Scott. Pop Smoke was 20 years old. He would have been 21 in um, July. So he was a baby. All right. He was starting to blow up. Um, obviously, he had some issues out there in Hollywood before where he uh, he brought somebody's car and then he uh, unknowingly um, took it all the way back to New York where they found a police report and they hit him with some um, some charges of uh, stealing the vehicle. But, um, yeah, I just learned about him a few weeks ago, man, at the barbershop. One guy was telling me that he was. You know, he was the wave, and I kind of see him going at Casanova, you know, t calling Casanova trash. So he was the guy that probably was going to take 6 9 place as the newest, hottest Brooklyn rapper. That's what it seemed that he was uh, pretty much on that trajectory going up. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, this happened too often in that Hollywood area, in that Southern California area. A lot of home invasions from, um, I think, LeBron House got broken into, um, Antonio Gates. Uh, Big Shine House. So it's been a lot of home invasions in Southern California of late. So you really never know. Member 6ix9ine, they shot at him in Southern California as well. So they're not playing no games out there. Usually when you have a metro area, the city is mostly where the crime goes on and the crooks and the robbers know not to go into the suburbs and, and do that. But in Southern California, that's, the, that's not the rule. They have no problem going in to some of these you know, famous people houses, knowing that watching them, knowing that they may not be there or be there. I mean, that's what happened to, you know, Redskins and Miami University, great safety and Sean Taylor. It was a home invasion. So um not sure if it was, you know, in connection with anything or he didn't know the guy. So more information to come out. But it's unfortunate that, you know, he was starting to scratch the surface. But the great thing um for Casanova is that him and Casanova sat down, ate and squashed his beef before he passed away. So at least Cass wouldn't have no type of, uh, you know, no type of, you know, regrets, whatever. They was able to squash their beef before he passed away, if this story is true. And it's just alleged right now. But TMZ is always on point. And it's unfortunate, man, that, you know, all these young guys are, are, are passing away, man. Um, and at least this time he wasn't in his hometown. But, you know, usually ago it would have went down in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in Brooklyn, you know. With these dudes getting killed in their home, you had Jimmy Wapo, Lil Snoop, Nipsey Hussle. Um, but, you know, there's been some casualties out there in Cali. I mean, uh, Southern California alone, you had um, Dollar, remember, the rapper from Atlanta that was with Akon. He got killed in Southern California, you know. But, you know, he was he was this dude was on his way up. He was about to be the next thing up coming out of New York. He was the wave, and at 20 years old, um, he passed away, man. And, you know, these young dudes just... You know, we don't have no value for life, you know, out here in the world, not just in the black community, just overall, man. So, you know, prayers to his mom. I know she put her put her house up to get him out of jail. And, um, you know, sad, man, sad. Didn't even have an opportunity to really, you know, blow up and enjoy the fame and enjoy the money and change his family life. So praying for him, blessings to him. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate for me is just share the video. And let me know what you guys think about Pop Smoke um, getting killed at 20 years old. Man, he would have been 21 in July. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV.